Oh man, oh man, Trap Boy Freddy is doing it again, man. These Say Cheese Trap Boy Freddy interviews been lit lit. I ain't gonna lie. These Say Cheese interviews been letting us know what it is as far as who's out here working and doing the thing, man. Can we give it up to Sean Cotton and his Say Cheese movement? Now, I'm gonna break something down the right way and we gotta get started. This great interview that say cheese did with trap boy freddy and he spoke something about respect did mode three respect trap boy freddy before we get to that let's play these bills y'all go follow your boy dj underscore bless one for the hottest growing platform out here right now dj underscore bless one salute gang up in this piece hit that like button hit that notification bell and come rock out with i smoke hip-hop live now, speaking of Trap Boy Freddy, he lets you know furthermore things that are going out here through interviews and exclusives. Now, we're going to break some of that down, and I want y'all to listen to the structures of what he's actually saying out here right now. Now, listen to that interview. On some real shit, though, right? On some real shit. Trap Boy Freddy, real street nigga. I want yeah. the 100% real you. Did you respect Mo3, though? Y'all didn't I, have- I didn't respect none of the shit he was doing. I fucked with him. Now, and to, I respect him in the beginning, or I'll just, I'll, you being, like, when I first meet you, bro, you, it's 100, you get 100%. Now, you just lose it on, if you fucking up down the line, high up the case may be. But, I don't look at you small, I don't look at you big, I look at you like, you Jay -Z. Really? any person in the world, I look at you like, I know he can rap. I would have signed him. You know, some shit like that. Like he just wasn't focused. He more so worried about what people think than rapping. What I mean by respect is is like the the shit that he rapped about. Like he really was. Hell no! And then you rapping about my partners. We seen all the tapes when my partner them died. Shut up! You know what I'm saying? All oh, that's that's food. All oh, that's that's a that's a milk, bro. He rap. Trap Boy Freddy is basically letting you know it's not cool to be rapping about my dead partners in them. You know what I mean? To which most people can agree to that. Like, you know, it's like, it ain't cool. Like whether, whether he had respect for you or not, but once you cross that line, you know, all bets are basically off when you cross that line to which he's saying about Mo3. He ain't just trying to come at him like that. He's basically internally letting you know you know, this man been dissing my homies, the dead ones and all that. I can't just give you respect off the strength of that. And he's letting you know thoroughly that hell to the nah nah. So a lot of things been mistaken for peace between the two. And I keep trying to tell people it ain't what you think in terms of peace. This thing going way back and it's deeper than just, let's just say we cool with each other now and we just cooling in the wind. Nah, man, it ain't going like that. And a lot of people done let y'all know already, it's not gonna go like that. Now let's go at some of the interviews that he spoke on with Sean Cotton. Let's go a little bit more further deeper. Let's listen to Trap and what he gotta say. He did, a, look, this, this, let me show you, this is how smart I am. And one of my songs I played like, when my partner died, they didn't take me. So when he came and dissed my partners, he said, yeah, we, we left the drugs, we just killed them. Shut up, nigga, they had the drugs going all down the, down the street. But you don't really know that because you just rapping out what I said. You see what I'm saying? When, when one of my partners died, he died in a truck. So I'm saying, he, he died and they stole the shit and I said they didn't steal nothing in the song. But that, like, that type of stuff don't make me mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, they use, that's some PR and shit. That's like him, him getting on the internet saying he was on some gangster shit at my shop. Nigga, I know everything that happened in the shop. Like, it's a lot of things that went deeper and they been spoke on it. Like, Mo3 spoke on some of them deeper things. He ain't nothing, bro. He ain't never had a slap box. He ain't no, he ain't no, like, come on, blood. He ain't never muffed a nigga, blood. Come on, man. Come on, blood. Come on, man. Nah, for real. T Say cheese trying to get in my business. I can't tell him too much. He's a blogger. But you seen that video, nigga. So you know that I'm bad what I'm talking. Sean Cotton. Tell him post the whole video. We, we don't want to see me walking around. Listen, bro, you didn't want to fight, so I left. The police came, so we, so I left, fam. And, 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 and when the real video come out, y'all gonna say, 
Oh damn, that's why. Oh, that's why the lions came with the woo. Cause niggas are scary. The fuck is you talking about? Nigga done ran me hot. <laughs> done ran me motherfucking hot. That lying ass shit. You lying ass bitch, you. You faggot bitch, you. For educational Puss. purpose. You got. I bet you got some good culture too. You pussy <laughs> bitch. Educational purpose. Yeah. Hey, nigga, I'm on motherfucking three, nigga. The fuck? So don't act, don't try to get like, nigga, nigga trying to, nigga, no, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. Why you put the video up? Why you put that video up? Shit, from this video, look like Mo3 pulled up on your block in front of your stove. And uh, Mo3 got his shirt off and some basketball shorts. I think I had on some little joints. Now, this is why you hear Trap Boy Freddy responding the way he responded. It's a lot of disrespectful ways from both sides but particularly mode three so when he's getting asked questions like that you know what i mean of course he was going to respond in the matter he did you gotta understand it it's a real life scenario <clears throat> hey boy i've been seeing that car a long time you see what you buy oh you're an old lady you lucky see that y'all nigga gotta be on it pay attention see what's going on Check your surroundings, man. This shit is for real, you understand me? I ain't just driving like I'm just, nah, I'm on this shit, y'all. Y'all, for real though. You hear me? Watch this shit. I got some time today. I got some time today. He had on the man, they don't know who did it. Whoa! Everybody out here pissed on. I mean, it's a lot of beef, a lot of dissing going on. It's a little too much if you want me to keep it real with you. It's a lot going on on in these streets. Now, Trap Boy Freddy referred to a lady who called him out. Like, it's stuff that I could be saying about them folks that y'all don't hear about. The folks he's talking about is also the lady who responded to him, you know what I mean? Who put him in a scenario where he had to defend himself. I'm gonna let the lady talk before we let the let the rest talk. The nigga salty, the nigga ain't shit, nigga fuck you. Somebody show that nigga this live. I didn't want to be 50 feet within him, but now he did y'all study posting this shit about this man. Damn, that man, let that man rest for real, because then now y'all being childish. Like, for real, you ain't the only nigga getting no motherfucking money. You a rapper, bitch, but I ain't no rapper, bitch. I'm a trap, bitch. I'm a the street nigga. He say he ain't got no beef with nobody. He gonna go in the club. He gonna do whatever, bitch. And a bitch took him to jail, bitch, and he bond out, nigga. You went to jail with a bag full of coins, bitch. Stop playing. What type of money is that, bitch? Cause, bitch, you're not gonna give me change. Bitch, I'm coming out of that bitch with the bills I went in, bitch. Bitch, way down the street while your baby out there, but you want people to delete the video now, bitch. I got the video. Don't start making me post, cause yeah, for real, cause you're really doing too much more. I ain't even gonna tell a nigga that next move. Social media telling a bitch, bitch, and that thumb, this how me and Mo 3 boy got home. You got damn near 900 insurance on that, but you study getting clap off of Mo. Three, bitch, keep your clout base down, bitch. Quit using his nigga. We gonna fuck with you because you showed out in our city because you from I city. But Trump, that bitch gets no juice, for real. Y'all niggas really doing too much, though, bro, for real. Y'all think that shit cute running around with shit uh, on people. Juice stuff and stuff because I already had to whoop me a hoe early this morning. Dr. Ho made... I mean, it's a lot going on in this situation. And, you know, guys are feeling emotional about it. Mo3 let us know a while back that the industry blocked them a long time ago. So the respect thing is he doesn't respect people who blackballs him. No pun intended towards Trap Boy, but he's saying that Trap Boy and Yellow BZ blackballed him. Damn, cuz, let me down. All the crib niggas talking about damn, cuz, let me down. Like, you know, we're, we're, what, what about the real shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, we just gonna act like the, the real shit don't count. We're gonna act like th that part don't matter. You get what I'm saying? Like, nah, for real, though. Hold up. First of all, boom. I've been seeing, I've been seeing this shit like, motherfucker hit me up tomorrow. Yeah, you know, everybody say like, everybody say like, on the code, three who's in the streets with the woo 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 woo. Get your big head ass on. Let's go sell a wig. I'm fat, dog. I don't make me mad. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I got a lot of money. Get away, get away, get away. I'm gonna stop chasing him. Like, that I know, like, oh, he just be woo woo. -y. 
Dallas can't get on. Dallas can't get on because Mo3 going live. But Dallas can get on with niggas chasing down niggas' managers. Let me beat the shit out of somebody's mouth, I swear to God. It's going to go like this. I got shot. That's part of the reason, because you thought I got shot. You don't never call. I got partners that never call. They got my number. It's people that are died to have this phone number. They can, I can pick up this phone right now and call them on three. They calling. They calling. I mean, it's a lot of situations happening. So if you hear Sean Cotton telling you something like that towards the interview. King of Diamonds, nigga, middle of the street. Nigga, why them niggas tripping? Like, bro, this what do you have to say to the fans that say when he was alive, you were quiet, but now you're going Tell them, get on fucking YouTube with they dumb ass. Get on YouTube and go see the shit. Nobody care about that. They go look at the clips when we used to argue on the internet. I mean, we just went through those same receipts. He's not lying. You can go look at the clips and you would see it like that. Shout out to Trap Boy Freddy. Shout out to Sean Cotton and Say Cheese, man. I'm your God Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Find me on Instagram at DJ underscore Bless One. And rock out with the fastest growing platform out here. I Smoke Hip Hop Live.